would like to appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing and commenting on all our videos. We wouldn't have been here without you. Keep watching Eagle Eye Angle. We are the best.
This is a fresh fish my auntie bought from Jamestown. That play they sell different kinds of fish. That is fresh and then nice for cooking. So we buy from that place because the cost is less. It's not expensive as different places. So I'm going to my goat steam meat. That is already steam. So we have onions garlic and then ginger that i will be using to steam my fish and then meat for soup i have pepper and then okra i have my gari here which will serve as binding agent for my carrot tofu then i have my fresh tomatoes here then my shrimp shrimps powder that will be used to steam my fish. Then I have salt. Then finally my carrots. That will be used to prepare my fufu. I have my steaming uh, powders for here. Yeah. That will be used to steam my meat. Hello guys. Follow me to the kitchen as we start cooking. The procedure is not long. The simple way that you can just cook. So follow me as I start my cooking as we go. I'm chopping my onions and ginger. The garlic to go and blend. So I have to chop it into small pieces.
okay because we are using fresh fish and meat we have to add the onions and garlic to blend and then use it to steam the fresh fish and you know fresh fish you can steam it with that those ingredients I'm now cutting my garlic. I'm now going to my ginger like that. Cut that one to small, small. For easy blend. Now I'm done chopping my ginger, onion, and then garlic. So I'm about to wash it and then blend it. Now I'm done washing my ginger, garlic, and then onion, so I'm transferring it inside my blender to blend it. put it down and then add it to my meat and fish to steam it. It's time to set fire. We're about to begin cooking like that. Watch out. No, we are in a village where we don't have access to that. So we use this one as a cooking. Now I'm about to wash my fish. Now steam it. So I'm putting inside my saucepan like that. Then steam it. Now I'm adding my goat meat to it so that I can steam it. I'm now adding my onion to it so that it will give me a good taste. After then I'll now add my salt. I'll add my string powder to the so that it will give me a good taste. I have my seasoning powder to here. I'll add that one to small. I will now add my blended ginger, garlic, and then onion to it. I have to now 
shake it so that it will mix. So that the ingredients will mix it well before I can stir it. Now I'm now covering it to, to steam it. So I'm putting it on fire like that. Hello there, now my fish and meat is on fire. So I'm now going to prepare my uh, pepper and then tomato. So that I'll add it to it. After then I'll finish with the phrase one and then go to the preparing of the carrot to food. So watch out, don't go to any wash. As I already said, I'm going to blend my pepper and then tomato to add it to the soup. I'm coming to wash it before I'm now blend it. So I'm done washing it like and I'm transferring this side and then It. So I have to add small quantity of water to so it before I open it. And then now add it to my already steaming meat and fish on fire. Tomato and then pepper. Wow, it's blend well. I'm going to prepare my light soup like that. I'm going to add it to my already steaming meat that is on fire. I'm going to wash my okra. Now I'm cut it into small pieces and put it inside my soup. So that when we are about to eat, to be smoothed with the food that will be prepared, that is carrot food. Some to as other vegetables like garden eggs and other stuff to eat, but we like okra because it has a slippery texture that when we are eating, it will go on well with the fufu. I'm done cutting my okra. So I'm going to add it to this already steam. It dies on fire. I'm done with cut. I'm done cutting the okra. So I'm now putting it inside my steaming mix. Now adding my blended tomato and then pepper to it. Wow, this soup will be very delicious. What a light soup! So now I'm done cooking the, almost done cooking the soup. I have to now go to the second phrase, which is preparing of the carrot fufu. Hello, hello viewers. As my soup is on fire, I'm about to start preparation of my carrot tofu. So watch, I'm about to wash my carrot and then peel it and blend it and then start the preparation of carrot tofu. So watch out. So it's very important. You have to pay attention to it. If not, when you miss one step, it will be difficult for you to prepare it. 
So watch out how I'm going to pair the carrot to food. So we are going like that. Follow me. So I'm now filling my carrot and then cut it into small pieces. This is for our fufu. Hey, somebody may ask, hey, carrot to be used for fufu. Yes, you can use for carrot to prepare nice food for yourself. So, we are here cutting off carrot, then we'll blend it nicely. Then we'll show you guys how to use it for fufu. So, so you guys, wait and see this one. After this one, we'll bring a new one for you guys. So, we are cutting it nicely. We wash, we have already washed it, so we are cutting it nicely. Then we'll blend it, then we'll be on the process of cooking. So, you guys, you'll be surprised today. Wait and watch out. Done cutting my carrots, so I'm coming to transfer inside my blender and then blend it. Let's start the food process. So, I'm about to blend like that. Well blend, so I'm boiling inside my bowl before I unlock it. We are done with the blending of the carrot, so we are now going to sieve it. Then we we'll use it for our fufu. So you can just use the carrot with the water like this. You have to sieve it, then you use the chaff for your fufu. Then the water you will leave it aside. And even that water is not waste, so guys. If you have banana, you can still add it to the water and blend it and use it for your smoothie. So it's only the chaff that we are going to use. Or the food, not the water. But in the process of cooking, you can still add the water rate when you see it like it's too dry you can add the water small small to make it soft and how you turn it so you squeeze it nicely like this to take away all the water that is inside leaving the food or the chaff then use it for your fufu as you can see the process house we are doing it right now. You see it like this. Take all the water out. Take all the water out from it. Then you use the food or the chaff for your fufu.
when it is ready guys after taking the water out this is what we got this is what we had now at this point we finished uh, taking the water out from the carrot so we are now going to put it inside the saucepan then we'll cook our fufu so this kind of fufu is not that maybe you boil the uh, carrot and pound it like the way we pound yam or cassava fufu baby but you put it inside your saucepan like this then you put it on the fire You'll be turning it to the time it will mold, then your fufu is ready. So now, mm -hmm. now our fufu is on fire. Yeah, our carrot fufu is on fire. So we are stirring it all, turning it to the time it will done cooking. Okay. Um, we have uh, bounding ingredients that we have been using for cooking of carrot fufu. But according to us, we didn't get access to that bounding uh, ingredients to use. So we thought of it to use gare, our local gare that we got it from cassava. So that's what we are going to mix with carrot to prepare our fufu. And so the gare, this is how I'm doing it to make it soft. Then I'll add it to the carrot. You can see that the water that I sieve it from the carrot is the same water that I'm using to mix margarine to make it soft. Then I'll add it to my fufu. Um, so we are adding garlic to the carrot, our fufu now. So at this point, we are going to add garlic to it to serve as the bounding ingredients for us. So, I told you guys that we don't have the bounding ingredients. So we are adding gari, our normal gari, to serve as bounding ingredients. Powerful food. very soon the garlic you can add it to how you like it maybe you want it to be too mold the way you like it you can add it mm -hmm. okay our fufu is almost done it's getting ready now so we'll take it off right now and mold it the fufu is ready so i'm taking it off then i'll mold it Ready, so I want to check my soup and see whether it's ready. Wow, that's delicious! Wow. Hi, wow, 
the food is very delicious. Okay, I'm coming to take it off from the fire. Viewers, as you know that cooking of food is not easy at all. But I'm done with my cooking and my family are waiting for me to serve. As far as the food is ready, we are so happy to eat and enjoy it. So I'm now to serve our food, then we'll eat. Mm -hmm. So today we are going to eat new food. And you guys who have already told you that cooking of um, carrot food is something new in the system to us. So today we are going to enjoy it and you guys will see. And you even give us more comment to do more uh, uh, what do you call vegetables food for you guys. So watch out. I'm going to serve my food. And my soup too is nice, tasty, delicious, and very the aroma alone will kill us here. My uh, my neighbors are waiting to join us. So let's serve. Wow. Mm. So the soup is light soup. Light soup is not something like we only use some um, tomatoes and then we just blend it, adding to our in, uh, spices and then we just prepare some nice light soup with tilapia, red fish, fresh one, and we've added goat meat to it. So a new recipe out there, out there, and we don't know. You can put it in the comment section and alert us. To do it we'll do it for you guys and i first of all told you guys that you can even locate where we are to enjoy our food and see how it tastes cook with natural things we don't add any preservative or something like that to rate or seasoning things to rate we use our local things around us we have our fufu here which is mainly made of carrots I know it's going to be a bit surprising to most of you, but then that is one of the healthiest food you would ever come across. It is made of carrots and a um, gari, yeah, and gari. But then one thing about this food is it's very low in carbohydrates, which is very essential to you know the body. So when it comes to the this thing, the, the the soup, we have a diverse meat. Let me say that you know different components of meat. That is a part that I love most because every meat you can actually think of, we have it here. So guys, as we keep on saying, we urge you to subscribe to the channel. Eagle Eye is all about life. And food is life, so we can't live without food. So today, we are eating new food and it's very nice. Hmm. It only really hurts me that it wasn't the quantity is kind of you know it's not that mm -hmm. plenty but then we believe next time we are going to increase the quantity it's actually um mind mind blowing you know we are enjoying the food <laughs> bigger why are you subscribe as i told you guys the eagle eye is about life and then we can't live without food and food is life. You know that vegetables, at first we use vegetables for salad and then the drink and rice and this. But now we are using vegetables for fufu. Um, as I told you guys, the eagle eye is about life and then we can't live without food and food is life. You know that vegetables, at first, we use vegetables for salad and then the drink and rice and this. But now, we are using vegetables for fufu. So this is very new. It's a new thing to everybody out there. So please, try it and see how it is. Every something, something new there is something new. But when you yeah. try it... Lovely family. <laughs> As we told you earlier on, it's okay. it's Consumers Association. We never disappoint. And yes, once again, we have done our thing again. I have really, really enjoyed myself today. I have, not me alone, the whole family, the entire family. 
if you enjoyed everything. If you really, really enjoyed everything. Like I told you earlier on, this was my first time having a taste of such a great food. And I, I just wish we can do it tomorrow. Once again tomorrow. And then, it's so unfortunate we would have to rotate to a different menu or a different dish. But then moreover, I just want to thank you for being with us from the very beginning till this point. We say thank you to you, everybody, you know, using your data, your data bundle to watch us. We say God bless you. Before we sign off, we will plead with you to like the video like we always say. You share, you subscribe, and then finally, you leave your opinion in the comment box. You leave your opinion. Make sure you subscribe, and then you click on the bell on the right side. You do that so that any time you drop a new video, you'll be the first person to get a notification. You don't forget to do that. Thank you so much as we're about to sign off. We say, God bless you all. God bless you all. God bless you all. Egil I Angel. Don't forget to subscribe! Hi there! We would like to appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing and commenting on all our videos. We wouldn't have been here without you. Keep watching Eagle Eye Angle. We are the best.